Hi everyone, this is Natasha. I wanted to show you a couple of cards that I made using Stampers Best Stamps. One of them is a play on words and kind of an homage, and one is just an elegant card for maybe a sit down barbecue. So I use three stamps the uh, cheeseburger, the main lobster, and uh, rocks background. It's really, really detailed. All of them are. And those are by far my most favorite stamps to work with. So let me show you the little burger, the little cheeseburger. And it's a off-size card, but this does fit into a standard A2 size envelope. It's four and a quarter square. And the reason I, sh I sized it to four and a quarter is I used the Spellbinders Fleur de Lis squares and the largest square and the second um, from the largest square cut these two out of uh, white American Crafts cardstock which is my preferred white cardstock it comes like this in a little storage box I also have that in black and in cream I wish they would come out with craft but this craft is from Hobby Lobby so it's just folded card um, I stamped using rich cocoa memento ink and then I colored it in using some distress markers and I'll have a full description of all the products used on my blog there'll be a link in the description below um, the pattern paper I believe is from um, basic gray hopscotch and Interestingly, it matched each of the colors in the cheeseburger. And I left the bun in the brown color. That's actually why I use the rich cocoa instead of black uh, when stamping it because I wanted it to kind of all meld together. So it uh, doesn't mean that a invitation for a barbecue can't be elegant. So there's a little bit of elegance to that part. And that's it, it's super simple. You can absolutely mass produce these without a problem. So that was the little burger, or the cheeseburger. And then this one, for those of you who are, who grew up in the 80s and 90s, you might recognize this. It's Rock Lobster. It's my homage to B-52s, the band, not the bomber. Um, so I used the background on White Craft, which is this um, Pebbles, Stones, I can't remember the actual name. I'll post it and then the main lobster and the main lobster was stamped with ladybug memento ink perfect color for cooked lobster that could have easily been called cooked lobster as far as i'm concerned because that's the exact color and we should know we we consume quite a bit of lobster so and then on top um so that was cut with the lobster's image was cut with this deckled rectangles large in the second size in. And then the corner of each of the layers, or the two layers, one that has the image, and then an, the layer that has the pebbles, I attached three millimeter um, self-adhesive flatback pearls from Wild Archer Crafts in this medium red from the multi-red pack, and in this vintage brown which coordinated quite nicely because there's also a layer of brown paper which matches identically to the rich cocoa. So the pebbles were stamped with rich cocoa and the lobster with ladybug memento ink. And again, really simple, but what a cute card to some to someone who either knows or loves B-52s and it's a bit of a pun. So there you go, two really quick and easy cards. Both are very easy to reproduce. I will have links in the description below to each of uh, the stamps that I use from Stampers Best. Um, and don't forget to stop by the Stampers Best um, YouTube channel to check out what other designers are making. Stop by the Facebook page because there are monthly giveaways for those who have liked the Facebook page and they're done randomly. So I would uh, recommend that because who wouldn't love a free stamp? Um, as well of you as some of you may know that new releases come out and uh, yesterday was the new release day and there are gorgeous vintage ladies image stamps that are now available 
for the month of July, so um, I would recommend you stop by and check out the new releases on the stampersbest.com site. If you have any questions for me about any of the products that I used or any of the techniques, please feel free to ask. I'll be more than happy to answer. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching.